EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the New Orleans Saints. Glad you're with us. It's great groupie to get this one started and off we go here in New Orleans. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. second down nice chunk of yards on first down it really opens up your options for what you want to do on second you go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top second and six just inside the 30 once again it's most of before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. From the gun, a run with Mostert. Escapes the defender. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 55 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. On first and 10, it's Mostert. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo. This could be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Here's Mostert, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? that all of them are not just cover corners. Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary. That's what we just saw, isn't it? Second and goal from the six this time. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Looking to cash in on this opening drive. Here's third and goal. Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert punching it in from a yard away. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, clearly they wanted to send a message there and impose their will. They score on their opening possession on a drive comprised entirely of rushing the football. Message sent. I don't know that the team on the other side of the field wanted to receive it, but what a statement on their opening drive. Just run it all the way downfield, no passes. That absolutely sets the tone that they're going to be physical in this game. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 20 yard line off the play fake he'll look to throw 
They'll get this out to Kamara. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Down the right sideline. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A big play on the ground there and goes for 36 yards. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line of teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come back here and hit you little people. Good run there. 11 more on that one and another first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Again, it's Camara. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. He used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Elvin Kamara, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are an extra point away from drawing level. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on the last time I look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll come up now third and nine. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. No sign of two of departing. Fourth down, they're going for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And yeah, many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Groupie able to add the PAT, and that makes the score 14-7. to 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. A pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. They hand it off to Moster. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Right, the Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. On second down, Mostert. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. That is caught. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Two are going to try and go quickly here. Now Moster. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Moster with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. As they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. On first and 10, here's Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On first down, Carr. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Now inside the 25. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tapped as one of the best in the league the prior season. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. One down. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On play action, it's Carr sliding out of the pocket. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense at a close ball game. I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result, not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead now up to 14. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Carr again here on second and ten. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. It's wide open right there. You've got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Alave holds it in. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Carr. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Carr now on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A good pickup there, 21 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Shotgun now for Carr. 
And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints have got it back to him in a score. And a point after, good by Groupie. And they're within seven now at 28-21. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 147 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Mostert. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. From the 48 yard line, here's second and six. Out of the gun, here's a give to A-Chan. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. will be the eighth play of the drive. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And going deep for Hill. And unable to connect, incomplete. And give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Right. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Tua. And will find the open man. That's complete. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Ready. So they convert on fourth, and now from just outside the 30, here's first and 10. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. From the 31, here's second and nine. Once again, it's Mostert. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And this defense rallies, and they stop them short of the first down right near the 24. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Sanders kick is good and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So that one CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now as you pointed out a very difficult road down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score somehow get the ball back and score again. The odds of that happening not great in your favor. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And now they're in the hurry up. Throwing now is Carr. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Car to throw on third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Again, it's Carr. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Saints. A.T. Perry, 43 yards. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. A big spot now for the Saints as they'll indeed go for two. Now Carr. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Dolphins are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. 
Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for them. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They're in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay there. And not in any rush offensively. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down, keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. The offense is going to stay out there. They've converted twice, failed once so far on fourth down. Let's see what's in store here. They'll try and run for it. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. This is first and ten. Carr. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Hey, hey, let's go. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Saints will use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Down to an ego's two, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world to get it done. That. I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter, at EA Madden NFL. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.